Hey guys, Silverstar555 here, and today we have the Game Boy Color. Alright, um, today I brought a game, it's not a color game because I'm too cheap, but it's Defender, okay? It's, it's a good game. You should get it. This console is very good, if you can even call it a console, some may call it a portable device. But the system is very good, alright? I'm just going to call it a system. It's, it uses these cartridges. Um, and I guess it's time to get into it. Alright. Game Boy Color does not have a backlit screen. Which means if you turn the lights off, you will never be able to see the screen. And that's why people buy, thing, buy things like um, lights that like go on the back of it. Because they're much easier. But anyway, let's get on to this. All right. Back. Got a little instruction manual thing. I don't really know what that thing is. But one thing that's unique about this, it uses batteries. Yep, it uses batteries. Your 3DSs, they use... Uh, actually, 3DSs might have batteries in them. I'm not exactly sure. But they're, like, much powerful, more powerful than, like, AA batteries or something. Anyway... These batteries um, are the only thing that the system runs on. If they run out of batteries, then you can easily get new ones. But that's the reason that I bring this on the bus when I go to school. Because you can just get an extra pair of batteries and just take them out if it runs out of power. The power bar. See this little light here? That turns on when you turn on the system. And that little light right there it's very important because if that light is very 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 small and you can barely see it your system is almost out of power if it's very strong like it is right now then you can easily see it and it's definitely not out of power so this is the stereo sort of um the system uses stereo sound sorry this is just a normal sound speaker but the system uses radio sound, which doesn't make any sense. Also, this thing doesn't have a backlight. So as you can see, when I take away all the light, it can barely even see it. But then I'm shining, shining it back in the light, and you can easily see it. So the system's really good. Um, this is the sound. can turn that. It's a little knob thing. It's... You know, you turn it back and forth, okay? Um, this is the extension thing. This is, like, if you put in, like, a backlight thing, this will get powered on it. Or, like, some of the other crazier things, like stereos. Freaking stereos that plug into there. Yep. Anyway. Um, that's on and off power. And that's, like, the little communicator thing. I'm not exactly sure what that's for. Um, now that I thought about it, I'm pretty sure that that might be for the link cable or something. But I'm not exactly sure where the link cable is supposed to go. Because I don't have one. This is the headphone jack. Which is where you plug your headphones in, obviously. When you take a look at the back here, you can see that this cartridge looks pretty big. And you may be like, oh, well, it's not that big. But when, then you compare it to a 3DS game, and you're like, oh, my God. Like, if you have a 3DS game at home right now, just take it and, like, feel it and imagine how big it is compared to this thing, okay? It's really big, okay? So, obviously, there's no charger for this because that wouldn't make any sense. And... The thing about Game Boy Colors that you probably didn't know is that people can easily cut out, like, extra buttonholes and then, like, make an entirely new system just with this thing. And usually people put raspberries in it and then use it as emulators, which is a very good idea in my opinion. So this battery thing, the little part right here, it just comes right off. And it kind of, like... Basically, you can't normally take it off, like, it doesn't normally come off, and, but if you push this back and open it, then it opens. So, the controls, very fluent. B, A, start, select, 
and the D-pad. And they're all very fluent, as I mentioned. They're very pressy, they feel good, and they're just generally good for having a good time, especially with Tetris. I love Tetris. Screws in the back, um, they are triangle heads, I think that's what they're called, I don't know. I'm not a screw expert, but um, these things are extremely hard to come by. Well, the screws aren't. They they use they're used in a lot of manufacturing pro products, but they're main. But there aren't many screwdrivers to undo them. Why? Because companies use these so that you don't somehow take it apart. Obviously. So there's more in here. You can't see it. Cause it's really hard to see. Um, whoa. Darn it, that fell. Okay, um, I'm gonna keep going now. All right, the system is overall very good though. It's a good system, it's Game Boy, and I love the sound on this too. It's an 8 bit sounding thing. I'll just give you a little perspective by playing a game. And the graphics are 8 bit, I'm pretty sure. Um, and this was around the time when the SNES existed, so the Game Boy went with the NES, or SNES, sorry, and that was a very important thing because it showed how, even like today, how consoles are much advan more advanced than other systems like the Game Boy. So, like portables are not as advanced as consoles and a lot of people don't really put that into consideration when they think about things like the 3ds and the wii u and how much better the graph the graphics are on the wii u compared to the 3ds well i kind of got to end the review i'm going to give you a little sound test kind of thing and put on the music that goes with this game it's called joust and a recommended game would definitely be Tetris and obviously Pokemon if you can get it. Unfortunately, I am I do not have enough money for a Pokemon game right now. So, um and the graphics can be a little bit hard to see, you know, when you're not in light as I mentioned, I think. But what the heck? Oh, there we go. Okay. Exit. No, exit! <laughs> oh, yeah, I gotta go down to that. That's what we're actually doing somewhere. Anyway, just to hear, like, the sound right there, I'll give you, like, a moment of it. A minute. And that's pretty much the sound. So, this system is very good. I rate it like 4 out of 5 stars. This is one of the best systems I've ever seen from Nintendo. Um, pretty good. Well, I hope you s I see you guys in the next episode. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing in the next episode, but you're lucky that I managed to upload this on Monday. Because Mondays are... Uh, so yeah hope you see i see you guys in the next episode like comment subscribe and i will see you in another video